time I was on my way. Good luck to you. Where are you headed? Nearest inn, by the looks of it. Yeah. Supposed to meet someone first, at the former campsite of the Nilf Guardians. You take care now. Come on. Master Ort. <sighs> Probably got held back. You're late. Soldiers. Blocking the roads, I know. No matter. You have it? As agreed. Thirty-eight and a half inch blade. Weight, just under forty ounces. Silver-plated siderite steel core. Glyphs and runes, both the length of the blade and on the hilt. Beautiful. Been in this trade for three decades. Only the best swordsman of the coin for my wares. When I say no witcher has, or ever had a better weapon. You ought to trust me. Reputation precedes you, Master Hort. I'd never doubt you. The inscription, as you asked. Zirael. Swallow. Classic Elder Speech runes. No styling. Simple and precise. May I? It is yours. If you'd like to test it, have my lackeys put out a training dummy. Your payment. Gems only, as requested. If you've an eye out for work, there are striggers prowling the Maribor Forest. Thanks. Need to visit the tavern first, but after, who knows? Good luck on the path, Witcher.
That's it, Roach. What's the problem? Soldiers bound him. There, in the hut. Bound who? They've got me dad and Uncle Bogart and Klimko. Help me! Run, Roach. Long live it. Take it easy. Is it done? Yes. Did he believe you? I have no idea. For the cockatrice. And we've a new contract. It won't pay much, but I think it's worth the toil. You've been busy. yours.
A witcher's sword. Swallow. Ooh, beautiful. May I? Not here. You'll have ample opportunity soon enough, witcher. Let's try it out then. Radovid had many faults. He was cruel, impetuous, and pathologically ambitious. But he was a tactical genius. That's undeniable. Commanding forces far outnumbered by his foes, he handily defeated the invader from the south. The Redanian Eagle spread its wings, taking all the north, including Novigrad, beneath them. With victory in the war against Nilfgaard secured, Radovid proceeded to complete his witch hunt. As they had in Novigrad, pyres burned in Temeria and Edern, lands now liberated by the Redanian monarch. In the drive for moral renewal, simple herbalists, pellers, healers, and non-humans, all supposed heretics, were murdered in droves. For many, freedom beneath Radovid's scepter proved more tragic than servitude to another. As long as his armies went from one victory to the next, Emir's subjects remained boundlessly obedient. When a string of humiliating defeats proved Var Emri's fallible, the opposition, thus far secret, attacked. The subjects of the Emperor who had danced on the graves of his foes laid him to rest in a tomb of his own. While the continent bled engulfed by war, Skellica bloomed under Ceres's enlightened rule. Unlike those who had come before her, the young queen did not raid foreign shores looking instead to her people, tending to her land. The island-bound nation prospered, though its fangs of yore were dulled. Cyrilla, Fiona, Ellen, Rhiannon, heir to Nilfgaard's throne, chose the life of a witcher on the path. Geralt taught her all he knew, every skill he possessed, then each set off on their own. Soon, word of the ashen-haired witcheress had spread throughout the north, from the Yoruga to the mountains of Kovir. And what of Geralt, you might ask? Well, he continued on as before, giving hand to mouth, job to job, on the road, ever coinless. We would meet at times over a glass of strong drink to talk about the old days and speculate what could have, would have, might have been. <laughs> <laughs> 